I had to get up too early, he said. I was young, and I had to get up at five to take care of the cows. I was responsible for maintaining the health of about 130 or 40 young steers. My dad was a hardworking cattle dealer. He'd get up at 4.35 o'clock in the morning. And my mom was an unbelievable traditional housewife. I remember uh, in those early days when we'd go in the basement and butcher chickens because she said, we can't afford that expensive store-bought food. I really enjoyed growing up in Rice Lakes, Wisconsin. I kind of teased the richest guy in town with the mobile gas station operator, the undertaker, and the fellow ran the feed mill. And then I joke, he's the same guy. I ran a little Dairy Queen. It was a one-off Dairy Queen. It, it was owned by another gentleman uh, from Minneapolis, and uh, I ran it for him. And he was quite amazed because in the first three weeks, I did more business than he did in the prior summer because I promoted it and I, had, uh, I hired the cheerleaders for uh, car hops. I, I won a scholarship to, uh, to the University of Wisconsin because I was valedictorian and it was a total huge amount of $200 <laughs> of, of uh, tuition relief. What it really I loved about the investment business was the incredible intellectual challenge and the competitiveness. I liked the idea of starting my own firm because I was getting kind of restive after 10 years where my income was sort of capped. My love for the business uh, really got very intense and I pretty much neglected my family. And so uh, things weren't going very well. It was almost on the point of divorce. We burned out five set of counselors, and they would give up on us. As I look back at our fourth son's deafness and what we've grown and learned from that, Michael uh, contracted uh, spinal meningitis. And one of the uh, uh, more uh, challenging moments in my life was when he was in the infant seat in the intensive care ward and he's looking at me with his blue eyes that are kind of foggy with fever and all of a sudden they rolled back in the back of his head so nothing but the whites looked out. He's just been such an inspiration, so eager to, to move ahead and to do stuff. In our wildest dreams, we never thought we would ever be living the kind of life we live because we both come from very small towns, but yet he excelled in just having that wherewithal inside him, that drive. In other cultures, if, if you fail, you throw yourself on a sword, but here you start over and you use that as a building block to tomorrow's success.